One thing is already quite certain. In 2019, trend foods will be ecological, yet still look a bit synthetic. Science fiction movies warned us. Fortunately, that doesn't rule out a juicy breast of poulard with a thick, flavorful wine sauce. Once a year, Austrian nutritionist Hanni Rützler discusses the latest trends in her food report. 2019 is the year French cuisine makes its comeback, but with a difference. Now, Cocovin is accompanied by falafel and couscous instead of just potatoes. French cuisine is a bit long in the tooth, resistant to change. But now it's starting to move. Among other things, French cuisine is lovingly reinventing the classics, a little newer, fresher and lighter, and allowing entirely new influences. That may explain why Vienna's Café Francais is so well frequented at all times of day and night. The way we prepare coco vin with white wine and white grapes is a bit new for our guests. And we don't take the rooster, but the hen, which raises certain questions, because people think it tastes a little more intensive. Hani Rutzler drops by Helga, a Vienna startup. Helga is a portmanteau for healthy algae. And here it is. Green, yet still a bit synthetic. Chia seeds, oat milk, and dried chlorella are combined to form a pudding. It's a wonderful combination. Tender algae really opens up a world of flavor, totally different from the dried varieties we know from Asia. I can well imagine using this. The next snack is spicier. Algae crackers and an algae hummus dip. Go green is the slogan of a movement that champions lots of chlorophyll in food. The pigment is said to vitalize the body. As in this soft drink, for instance. Over 50% of this very tiny microalgae is made up of protein, and that becomes especially interesting when we think about how we're going to supply 8 to 10 billion people with protein in the future. This farm in Saxony-Anhalt grows the trendy freshwater algae. The 500 kilometers of water-filled glass tubes are like a vast aquarium. These systems can be set up where conventional farming isn't possible. Here we can have agriculture even with no fertile soil. Considering how fast the algae grows, it shows enormous potential, especially since algae contains all the nutrients we expect our foods to deliver. Hani Rutzler stops by the Tastery, a shop in Vienna based on a concept like no other. Customers can try out innovative products, mostly from smaller companies, before buying. The tastery is just what its name implies. A long-running trend is centered around insects, here in a mix with crickets and worms. I think together with the hint of sour from the berries, it's a wonderful mixture. The nuts complement the flavor of the mealworms. It's a nice, light snack with a really good portion of protein. Nobody here buys anything without knowing what they're getting. Only things they really like. Another trend here is to cut down on processed sugar. Many producers are looking for alternatives to conventional cane sugar. A lot of them work with a range of sweeteners. And here too, more and more consumers are making sure no artificial chemical sweeteners are used, only natural ones. Hanni Rützler isn't only interested in what flavors are trending, but also what needs consumers have. Another trend goes under the heading transparency and refers specifically to food industry packaging. Shoppers increasingly want to know exactly where things come from, when and where it was harvested, slaughtered, and processed. And finally, there's a trend called healthy hedonism. It sounds almost like an oxymoron, but if it's done right, 
Keeping healthy aspects in mind, it can work. In our culture, we've long believed that if it's too good, it's unhealthy. But in France, it was just the opposite. They think if it doesn't taste good, it isn't healthy. So once again, French savoir vivre is shaping our philosophy of eating and living. Cutting back was yesterday. The day when algae is all there is to eat may well be here soon enough. <laughs>